thank you guys. Oh, I am, things are changing and um, there's a nexus coming, a really big decision point, trajectory controlling event <laughs> happening shortly. And I just want to be cool with whichever trajectory ends up happening. And um, I feel very blessed to be where I am now and doing what I get to do every day and, um, and having you be all a part, a really important part of that, really. And I want to just keep living. <laughs> That's my prayer. <laughs> like Dory says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. And joyfully and in good health. And while you guys were praying, I just got this deep appreciation for another level of how uh, Matakwiasen, we're all one, how each of our prayers, there was like this resonance and I felt like we were in this web together and um, like we're nodes in this web and there's a vibration and a, uh, what's the word I want? Synergy of how we're coming together and how we, we know who we are through what we hear other people talking about. Cause, oh yeah, that, it's good to see it out there as even, you know, as it is happening in here. So I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> um, great. And I feel like um, today the spirits, when I was getting ready for this, and as you all were popping online, I got this feeling like most everybody wants to learn a little bit more about the invocation process, the how we call the spirits into our, our day, our session with somebody, right before we go into an important conversation, you know, like we are all knowing that we have spiritual help and there are ways of really um, having that on demand easily and potently. And so a really quick invocation that gets you moving and the space around you sort of electrified um, so many other things are possible, whatever happens into that space. So, um, they want us to start out with, um, I came in here into the studio. I haven't been here in a week and I wanted to have the spirits sound through me what we wanted to do today. And what they wanted me to do was reintroduce myself to my altar and start connecting with those items of power, which is really what you do when you're calling the spirits in, when you're doing an invocation. <clears throat> and it's, so it's like that the node of that spirit's coming in here to vibrate the nodes in our web. <laughs> and we all get, to, we could just hum a little bit and it would totally activate that node and and be in this creation process by calling our all of our spirits each of our spirits each person's set of spirits that need to come in today that not everybody's not everybody's spirit everywhere <laughs> no <laughs> anyway i'm uh how does that sound anybody have any comments about wanting to maybe use their voices today a little in the privacy of their own home or their rattle or drum. Yeah. And you will benefit also from just receiving if, if you just need to lie down and get some nourishment <clears throat> or somewhere in between. 
And so I'm going to play a, um, it's a four and a half minute sound clip that I made today where I'm singing to my altar spirits or they're actually singing through me. <clears throat> and it, along the way, I'll give you some um, prompts for how you can use this piece of music to help you call the spirits in because this piece of music is going to be accessible to you and you can play around with it and then you can go off on your own and do your own things. So I'm trying to help people. Here's a little template of how you can actually vibrate yourself with your voice or hear and be vibrated and, and activate your connections with your spirits. Because that's what we're doing in shamanism. Comments? Let's go. Thumbs up. <coughs> okay, so you can <coughs> get a feel for how this piece of music is starting to develop. And then find a note or two or a rhythm that you like that's associated with it, with a rattle or, I mean, your, our rings are really good. <laughs> and of course you have rattles and bottles of vitamins <laughs> or a drum. And then also try to see if your voice can there's three notes happening in this whole thing that weaves everything together. And so find out a place where you might vibrate there with a note. And you will be surprised at what happens to your whole energy system.
We take a good couple of deep breaths and staying in that place. Notice where you might be vibrating. There is a line of light that starts in your heart. And the spirits want us to go on a journey to follow that line of light into the upper world of non-ordinary reality. to follow and see and retrieve what's on the other end of that thread. It is a part that's needed for manifesting your intentions. And we spoke and wrote these intentions into our circle some ca captured on the scroll of the chat altar. You might be prompted in your own heart to look at them and see what people said. But we're gonna ride the power of those helping, compassionate spirits who came when you called, even if you weren't aware that you had made that connection. And we start by breathing that tone of that thread of light. That's originating in your heart. Oh, and as you gather up, the presence, known or unknown, seen or unseen, of your compassionate helpers. They begin to help escort us to follow that thread of light and it goes out a window or door as that part of us that knows how to journey rises up follows that thread of light across the landscape. Until you all find that tree that you have known in ordinary reality. A tree that shall be your transporter to the upper world with your entourage of helpers. Maybe you feel you're in that bubble of their wise, protective healing power. And you find that tree and you say hi to that tree, give it a little gift. And a door materializes and opens that takes you inside the tree. And suddenly you can feel just how wise, how much of life on earth this tree has witnessed.
those rings of Akasha. And you feel yourself starting to swirl upward through the tree, through the trunk of the tree. the branches and leaves or needles of the tree until you're just hovering over that tree. Maybe you've never seen the landscape from this perspective before. We apologize to the tree. We didn't spend as much time greeting it and having ritual, but people are on a mission to find what it is that they need for releasing what no longer serves and for filling with that spirit, juice, power, wisdom, juju needed to manifest. And you begin to swirl upward and your helpers, whether you're aware of them or not, are also swirling around in your very pretty broad energy field. And you're spinning upward that's almost like a dance and you go through a layer of clouds. It feels like pink, soft, mysterious, cloudy layer up and up and up. And then you hit a layer of the most angelically white clouds. And there's a warmth and there's a resonance. And you notice that that thread of light that you've been following burrows a tunnel through this cloud layer and you're following it and you're following it and you're following it and it takes you to this most magnificent prismatically colored crystal open air temple and there's a grid with geometric shapes enclosed in one another etched in the center of this open air temple. And there are these places where statues form and then unform and then form and then unform, shape shifting, showing you figurines of divine spirits that are helping you. But most of all, the spirits want me and my spirits and you and your spirits to activate a geometric figure.
multitude of layers of creation that are manifestations of your intentions. And there are particular angelic sound stewardesses who are here to help make form out of the formlessness driven by the power of your heart. Just let go And as 
as the geometric figures light up and the matrix of creation and light driven by your heart as those all weave there's an alchemistry
aliveness, the vitality.
dive into the needles or leaves and down into the upper branches of the crown and down and down and down through the main trunk. And you can just feel the mightiness of this tree and you say thank you. You share to your body. Oh, and just let that light that you have gathered that was yours all along that weaves together heart, mind, intention, soul, it all participates in the manifesting along our soul's path of purpose. Oh, and we let that delight, delight. And the people live their lives as if it were a song, a singing out of light. I feel like we all live this song. And then I forgot the rest of the words. Reminds the little of the stars to be dancing circles in the night and the people live their lives as if it were a song a singing out of light Reminds of you, do, do, of the stars. You could fill in your own words for that. To be dancing circles in the night. feel ready you can come back into the room by turning your video on My hands are pulsating like they have fire coming out of them. Anybody else have physical sensations from that? Yeah, do tell. Alicia? I um, actually picked up my drum 
and was drumming very, very close to my ear and an image came of a First Nations person with a single feather up the back. And I felt like there was something in my hair, like a worm. And I realized it was a feather blowing. <laughs> a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of sensation though, but that the drum was right here and it felt like I was, we were singing back and forth to each other. And I just wanted to point out, I don't know if you can see that, but you're talking about geometry. Can oh, wow. That? Yes. Oh my and goodness. Just, yeah. I just got that yesterday. <laughs> pretty cool wow will you send me a, a link email me a link as to where you got it metaforms is the name of it yeah. metaforms yeah it right. looked it looked a lot like that it was like all of the node there were there was like a big grid of nodes and some of them would light up with different shapes did you guys see that in the temple that's really cool yeah, and you speak what you want. You speak. I've just got it, so I have to, you know, learn. But you speak your your intention through it, out into the universe. Well, I feel like we created that a pla a ceremonial platform place, where you can go in non ordinary reality and use that tool, mm -hmm. and do that. Yeah, I really. Like, I really felt like I knew what I was doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, you know, we don't just, uh, you know, throw a touchdown the very first time we throw a ball. Unless you're, you know, reincarnated really recently as a yeah, famous quarterback. <laughs> so. so, yeah, we, you're, you are diligently working at your craft. It took me a long, I remember the very first time I had a physical sensation during a metaphysical shamanic experience because I, it was probably a year or two into my studies with Jan and Michael Harner. And then one day I was, somebody was doing a shamanic healing on me and a wolf came in and I could literally feel the pressure and the fur on my leg. And that was the first time I'd ever really physically felt the metaphysical. It was cool. So yay. Doesn't happen right away. Sean was, was, uh, nodding. Um, I just felt like my heart chakra, like I heard the words, heart chakra upgrade and I saw this like crazy rainbow pyramid like come down like and I just saw I don't know a bunch of geometry all rainbows in my heart and my it's still spinning it's I don't know it's pretty amazing it's awesome I feel it right here right now so yeah thank you I missed these I needed that one thing I've learned uh again deeper more recently is how important those images are that we have when we're journeying it's like i had a very awful thought in my head that kept coming and coming and coming and coming and coming and the spirit show, took me said okay i'm going to be a bridge and they they showed me some imagery in my journey and they said that little snippet is the first is the next thing you're going to think of when you think of that bad thing. And it's like, I go right into the imagery of that heal, little snippet of a healing in a journey. And it's like magic. So it's, a, you know, for all of us, remember those little snippets that become bombs and, um, you know, anything we can do to help the mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Glad you had vivid, uh, imagery. Very much so vivid. Yes. And we don't have to share, but sometimes in our sharing, 
I learn a lot more about my journey sometimes when I'm talking about it out loud and then, oh yeah, and then we start doing these connections with, oh yeah, I had that, or these, we link up in various parts of our, our journeys during these things. We've never gone here before, have we, Cindy Trams? <laughs> It, it is a little reminiscent. I went to the chamber in my heart and I've been there before with you in ceremony. And when Alicia was holding up her, the prism, it, it was how I imagined the sound temple and it was in my heart. And so, and then as Sean was talking about, you know, just like really feeling it there. Um, it was the visual of that um, geometry and then in the innermost cave of my heart that is already beaming with green energy. Pretty palpable. Cool. Well, that was a, to me, they were teaching me a whole new way of looking at manifestation like following that thread from the heart you know that yearning and 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 for me it it was almost like a i forget what it's called holographic it took the it took that light from the heart and uh with the help of those spirits especially the stewardesses and the people the spirits that were helping me kind of create like a 3D form of some aspect of the manifestation that I was looking for. And so I was just, I was really trying to narrate um, that and, and uh, offering it as they were offering it as an invitation for, for all of you to see some facet of that. Like creating with the heart. Yeah. <laughs> How was how was the uh, invocation that that uh, that recording that I made before but added to it live? Yeah, I liked it. What did you like about it? Like, th could you use it? Did you find yourself moving a little bit to make sound or clapping or drumming or such? Yeah, I felt it inspired me that way. It had a really nice beat and a lot of uh, options for joining in. Right. I'm really trying to create experiences that help people do that. Like, um, it's a different form of being a song teacher. <laughs> much different <laughs> you know because we're talking about channeling vibration from spirit and sometimes it just you know when we talk we're channeling uh the divine in some facet so giving it a little musical quality is fun even though we might have been programmed away from that as a young person <laughs> I was just going to say real quick that I thought I could do that every morning. Yeah. I think it was five minutes. I can't remember exactly. I mean, it wasn't that long. And didn't it kind of sort of something happens? <laughs> I felt like I was um, in a place, like in a grove or a sacred space. Yeah, is it available on your through some way for us to find it? I will. Um, I feel like I want to add one more layer of vocals, and because I there were also spirits and altar items that I didn't get to, mm. so I'm gonna layer them in and um, 
probably in a week or so, I have a um, a blah, 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 a web page called SoundCloud dot com slash Redstone Song. And so, um, if you email me, actually, if you've ever gotten an email from me, the link is in my signature. It says, you know, free sound healing, click here or whatever. So yeah, it'll be available maybe in another week. I'm not, I'm not quite done with it. You guys were were uh, part of the next iteration. I really liked it. It seemed like just like the perfect link this to sort of get you from maybe wherever your crazy mind was to more focused. Exactly. And basically it was um trying to get my finger there that bowl and my big drum that I played it was I basically sang played the bowl and the drum for one track and then I have a synthesizer a piano a little one of these oh, cool that I, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> That's the same exact one. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. And, I want to know where to get those. And it drones. So I matched the drone um, of the singing bowl with that keyboard uh, with the C and the F. And then they have a bunch of different um, programs that make, we you know crickets and all kinds of weird synthesized music and it's so much fun it's like it's really not that hard <laughs> just takes interest and a little bit of time no i was just going to comment when we were talking about what we were feeling viscerally and in my intention i had spoken about potent motion and that's what i felt so it's it's just interesting to um, put the the invocation out there, the um, you know what you want out there, and then to feel it manifest. That's so cool. Yeah. How, how many people got up and danced a little bit? Okay, good. I that you know so that comes out of nowhere <laughs> and everywhere. <laughs> It's good to move. I had a feeling they were going to have us move at some point. So could I share about my... Yeah, totally. So as we went up from the treetops, I had this distinct image of all these allies and helpers and things of us all being in like the reverse of a group of skydivers. <laughs> it was like in this geometric formation where we're all kind of holding on to each other's hand and we're just going up and going through the pink to the white and then coming up and we're like in that geometric um, floor of the temple. And the other insight I had in terms of how I feel like I've been on a spinning wheel that the faster I try to go, the faster everything goes and time, you know, and to the point you're just about to be flung off of it, you know, and, and I got the two main like ideas or thoughts that, that I need to reverse the way I think and speak about that. Huh. Because as I see it and think it, it, it's like manifesting itself to get worse. So I need yes. to slow it down and rewind it. And, and then also in terms of priorities and things um, that I just need to get more rest. That that would help to prioritize the rest in, in terms of uh, being able to slow everything down and heal and prioritized and all those things. And then a very interesting thing happened in that all of a sudden I 
don't know where I was. I just went somewhere. And then all of a sudden came back when it was time to be heading back. So I'm not sure. It's like, hmm, that was fun. I'm not sure where I, I think I've, I get the feeling that I was taken somewhere. And Except that I remember a lot of beautiful light. Well, a lot of times the spirits will kind of beam us up into a little chamber and and do stuff and then send us back down into the journey. <laughs> but Interesting. I thought that was really cool because um, in, in several trauma healing practices, especially somatic experiencing, one of the main tools that is used is slowing everything down every little movement actually in some aspect of um, some chaotic event and when things slow down the mind has an opportunity to see other possibilities and also, um, I think it, when we slow down, we also have more of a chance to recruit our potency, our, our, um, our reasoning, our power, our, you know, capacity to feel and choose. And also, I used to sky reverse skydive a lot in one of my main places I went uh, to journey. There was this light that came up from the, from the center of this uh, labyrinth, and then I would go lay out on it and like I was skydiving. So when you described that, it was like, cool, you did it with everybody. That's awesome. Reverse skydiving. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the past couple of, of sessions that we've had, I fall asleep. And I remember once you had said um, sometimes falling asleep is the spirit's way of getting you out of the way of the healing that they're doing. Um, and this has been these months or so. It's been it's been good. It's been very good. But it's been a time of tremendous, um, I, I, I envision it almost like this hurricane wind going through my life and then change. And whenever I fall asleep, I come back and they always seem to bring me back at, at right about the time you're beginning to finish. So a lot of the things that are going on, other people, I don't, I don't have on a conscious level. But I always feel very powerful, very relaxed, very calm, um, very centered. And that happened again, you know, this time too. Um, it was really, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wanted to share that. Thank you. I never, I totally never know where we're all going to go together. Yeah. And it was so bizarre that you sit there and go, this only happens in movies, you know, it it's happening. Happen. It's happening all the time. And I think it's a really important, um, I'm glad that you're seeing that it's a really important layer of teaching that we have in at light song and other places really where there is, and I have been getting deeper into these alternative realities that um, are totally tangible and accessible. And, and it just takes a consciousness and a belief in magic to bounce into that layer. And they're happening, they're overlapping, they're happening all at the same time. That's the bizarre thing. And, um, the the spirit showed me that it's kind of like layers of in a computer chip you know there's like this billion a, 
a lot of layers of realities connect interconnected and happening some parts of her happening at the same time and um and we're all connecting with each other to all of those realities that was the other thing that they said was really important was each connection that we make with another person is like a portal to all the people that they've ever connected with and especially their lineage, especially their ancestors. I was like, whoa, that that's happening like layers and then time layers. <laughs> so yeah, yeah thanks for reminding me how mind blowing reality is. <laughs> Um, but no, I also fell asleep. Um, and I also miraculously wake up when, you know, it's time to come back. So, which is why I really didn't have anything to share because I fell asleep. Ah, uh, but think never is nothing happening. <laughs> That's great. All right. Shall we end with a blessing? I, I got blessings. I got them for all the Cindy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, so again, just to see the synchronicity and the magic that happens in the perfectly cast um, circles and squares and grids that we have. Um, and it's just miraculous and um, verified that those that need to be together and have this yearning healed, uh, have this yearning satisfied, uh, what a blessing, what a blessing. So Thank you for the great ones. Thank you for the connectivity. Thank you for the virtual love that just emanates. Mm -hmm. uh, and we send each other off oh, to the wilds off into the solstice times, the calling of the north of this time of year. And we ask the spirits if they could do one thing for us. Please support us. Oh. <laughs>